After winning the World Championship in 100 meters in the year 2019, world-class spinner from the United States, Krista Coleman, had to sit out for 18 months and serve a ban after missing three doping tests within a year. He was left with no choice but to watch the Olympics from his couch. After serving his ban, he is back to running competitively and has slowly been getting back in shape. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Hailing from the city of Georgia, Kristen Coleman is always has a chip on his shoulder. He's usually the smallest sprinter in the field whenever he steps out to face world-class competition, but he always finds a way to pull out on top. This year though seems to be the biggest year for Kristen Coleman as he has a lot on his stake right now. As after the retirement of the legend Usain Bolt, Kristen Coleman has been made the clear favorite to always go out there and dominate until this year. With the likes of Marcel Jacobs, Fred Curley, Trayvon Brumel already showing out a little bit this early in the season, I'm sure we are set to see something crazy happen come World Championships in Oregon. Let's not forget about Andrew DeGrasse also. He has always seemed to stay behind the camera lights and just come out of nowhere to shock us with crazy times and comebacks. But back to Kristen Coleman, what possibly does it take for him to come out on top this season again and how difficult will it be? We could use the recently concluded World Indoor Championships to give a somewhat reasonable time using Marcel Jacobs for example. He ended up running a 9.80 last year at the Tokyo Olympics, but he only had a PR of 6.47 in the 60 meter. And for him to come back this year and run a 6.41 in the 60 meters as a personal best, we know for a fact we're going to see a time lower than 9.76 at least. And now, where does that leave Kristen Coleman? Kristen Coleman is currently ranked 6 all time in the 100 meter list with a time of 9.76 that he ran back when he won the world championship. What do we currently know about Kristen Coleman seeing him this year? Trust me, one thing is for sure, he could run way, way faster. He just looks to be fading away faster than usual and that probably has to do with not racing much. This man ran a 6.41, almost falling down the last 15 meters. Like, come on, bro. What I do think is that he's still figuring stuff out. But back to the goals for the outdoor season, I should see Coleman still winning with a really fast time of 9.71 comes World Championship in Oregon. Marcel Jacobs obviously has the upper hand right now as he is in way better shape and runs the most relaxed and efficient. But I believe when Coleman gets back to his top self, months from now, we are set to see something really crazy. As always, drop a comment on what you guys think. We are set to see. As always, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.